Hi everybody, I'm Mike, I'm here today with Fender, and we're going to talk a little bit about fretboard conditioning. Now you may ask yourself, how do I know when it's time to condition my fretboard? Well friends, if your fretboard is looking a little dry, a little dull, a little bit lifeless, give it a kiss of oil. That's all you need. Now, I recommend doing this maybe once every six months for most unfinished fretboards. That's rosewood, that's laurel, that's ebony. Uh, but if you live in a particularly dry climate, you might need to do it mm, every three to six months, somewhere in there. Basically, whenever you take your strings off, just look at your fretboard. It'll tell you everything you need to know. A dry fretboard can mean problems down the line, such as protruding fret ends or cracks. So it's best to keep it conditioned. All right, now the strings have been removed and we are ready to condition. However, uh, if you have a guitar with a finished maple neck, you don't need to condition that. That's already sealed off, it's taken care of. Now, if there's maybe dirt or grime buildup on it, all you need to do is get a damp cloth, maybe some guitar polish, and just wipe it away. Now let's focus on conditioning. Take it from me, there exists some heated debate on the internet about what's best to use on your fingerboard. But if you've got a question about it, not sure which way to go, it's best to use a product specifically designed for your guitar. Today we'll be using Fender Fingerboard Remedy. Now to get the job done, all you'll need, aside from your oil of choice, are a cloth to wipe it on, and then a clean cloth to wipe it off. Now what we're going to do here is apply some of that oil directly to the cloth so that we don't overdo it. And wipe it on. When applying the oil, I'm going to rub gently, making sure that we get full coverage here. And if there's any grime or dirt on the fretboard, now is a good time to wipe it away. We're going to let that soak in for a few minutes and then wipe away the excess with a clean cloth. Try not to get any on the body of the guitar, but if you do, it's no big deal. It'll wipe right off. Once you've done all this, if the fretboard still looks really dry, it's okay to do it again. However, I do want to mention, you don't want to use too much oil. A little goes a long way in this instance. Presto! Now once you've done all that, congratulations, you've conditioned your fretboard. For more information, go to Fender.com and stay tuned for more videos. We'll be seeing you.